Hey, it's me, Dawn, and today, I, I don't know if, like, you've seen, I think it was, like, the other day or the other night or I don't know when, but I posted on Instagram my gray hair, and I don't know if I've had any comments because I haven't really checked my Instagram or anything like that. Um, I don't think there was, but, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about coping with gray hair, and I'm 26, and I already have gray hair, and, like, you can tell, like, if you look, like, here's the gray, you know, and, like, I'm growing up my hair. And so, and I'm not dying my hair anymore, so it's, like, really bad. Like, you could, like, see, like, when I, like, and it's really bad over here. Like, I should have took a picture of this side because this side is crazy. But, anyway, I was, I was in the bathroom. Well, what, what really, like, brought it on was I was in the bathroom, and I was giving my daughter a bath for the night because she was going to school the next morning. And I was brushing my hair, and I started noticing it. I'm like, oh, my God, like. It's like, I when I was 19, I had like five strands of my hair. And now it's like a gazillion, I want to say. I don't even know how many is in my hair. Probably about 50 or 60. You never know. So, I'm not really like a big, like, I don't freak out over it. Like, I did when I first found out. Like, I was like 19. I was like, oh my god, time to dye my hair. So, I would like bleach it blonde. Like, literally, I went bleach blonde forever. And, um... Because I figured that blonde was, like, kind of close to gray, and you could, couldn't could really tell it when you grew, you know, your hair out because your roots would be dark. And, like, this is my natural hair color up on top here. So, um, so I, this year, I have decided to not dye my hair anymore. And this is what I get because, obviously, all my grays show up. But I'm not really, like, worried about it. I don't really care about it anymore because my hair is my hair, you know? Like, my grandmother had, like, really pretty gray hair, and mine kind of look like they would be kind of whitish, you know, or, like, silverish. So that's a really cool thing because, like, if it was gray-gray, I would be like, I don't think so. But, like, this is, like, a silvery whitish gray, I guess, because it just looks like that, like, compared to my, like, hair because my hair's brown. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I couldn't really tell you. And, um, I'm, I mean, you can see gray more in, like, dark hair people or maybe, like, even, like, redheaded people. I think my grandmother was redheaded. And, like, you could tell, like, she had gray in her hair. But me, it's like, you know, and I have dark hair, too. But, like, my mom, she would bleach her hair and, or she would dye her hair and it would be, like, super blonde, like, bleach blonde. And, you could never tell that she had gray in her hair until she darkened her hair up. And then the moment she darkened her hair, boom, it was there. And I was like, Mom, like, I mean, I didn't want to be, like, rude or anything, but I was like, Mom, I didn't know you had that much gray hair. She's like, I've had gray hair since I was, like, 25. Like, I was like, wow, because, like, I'm 19, or, well, when she started darkening it up, I was, it was, like, right after my daughter was born, or maybe it was, like, a little bit after, a little before. But I was like, Mom, like, I started getting my first, I had my first gray hair when I was, like, 19. And she's like, well, your dad got, you know, like, and then, like, on my, my dad's side, it was, like, a lot of baldness. And I'm like, oh, I'd rather have gray than bald. You know what I mean? Like, that's my opinion. Like, I'd rather be gray than bald as, bald, as long as, my my hair stays long and there's not a bald spot. And um, so I think I'm, like, really lucky to, like, have hair. You know what I mean? Because, like, my uncle was, like, 18 when he started losing his hair. So, like, I'm really grateful that I have hair. Um, and stuff, but it's just, like, when my dad has, like, no hair on top, and then on the sides he does, it's, like, really crazy looking. I mean, I don't know why he don't just, like, keep it maintained and short, that way it kind of looks a little bit better, but, like, sometimes you let it, like, grow out, and it's, like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's crazy. But anyway, um, like, coping with gray hair is different for everybody. Like, um, with me, I had issues with it for years. Like, Seriously, even when I was, like, pregnant with my daughter, I was, like, bleaching my hair. Like, and you're not supposed to, like, dye your hair or, like, dye that dye your hair that much. I don't even think you're supposed to even dye it. But I did. <laughs> I bleached my hair, and I was putting pink in all kinds of crazy colors in my hair. And I finally was just, like, I started dyeing my hair back to be dark, and I noticed it more. And then my, you know, like, my friends and my family was like oh my god you've got like gray hair like how old are you like you look like you're 19 and I'm like I'm 26 and they're like no like you know like I figure like by the time I'm 40 I'll probably have a hair like a head full of hair like a head full of gray hair
which I'm really cool with because like as long as it's silver or white, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I like it being like silver or white or maybe even that like purple tint that some people get. I don't know who would get that color. I don't know if it's like a you have to be like super super like black to like have that color or if you have to be like super super like blonde or if they dye it. I don't really know, but it's like a grayish purple kind of color and it's really cool. A lot of you people even told me like, you know, like the gray hair in your hair is like mean that you're wise and you're a wise woman and, and stuff. And I'm sitting here like, okay, you know, like, you know, and like, I know this, there's this whole huge, like, like trend going on where you're, you, you know, people are dying their hair gray and they're young as I'll get out. And I'm like, well, I have my hair because <laughs> I have it. You know what I mean? Like it's right there, you know? And so I guess I'm, my hair, I don't know, like my hair, but, but you know, it's like, I don't care, you know? And, and the reason why I don't care is because it's my hair and it's growing and it's, it's healthy, you know, and your hair could be gray and it could be the most healthiest gray hair ever. Like, and it's okay. It's cool because like, I know that gray kind of stands for like gray, having gray hair stands for like you getting older and everything. But also, in my sense, it's like you're getting wiser, too. You know what I'm saying? And, like, if you have gray, each gray strand is a, a smidge of wiseness, if that makes sense. I don't know. To me, that's what I think, you know. And so I'm like, well, I'm getting a little bit wiser every day. You know, I'm wising my butt up, you know, or, or whatever. You know, like, I'm just crazy that way. But, like, I don't care about my gray hair anymore. Like, literally. And I don't think anybody should care about it. I mean... I know you want to switch up your hair or you just you know, is too embarrassed to like show people your gray hair. But if I can do it, anybody could do it. And seriously, I'm so self-conscious with stuff. Like it's not even funny. Like I am self-conscious with my body. I'm self-conscious with the way that I look. I'm so self-conscious, like just in general, like in general, I'm the worst person to be like, I beat myself up every day. Like, Oh my God, you're so ugly. You're going out like that. Or like you're, you need to lose a couple of pounds. You know what I mean? Like that's how I think all the time because I'm so self-conscious about myself. But this gray in my hair is like, to me is the shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why, like it is the bomb. Like I love it and I don't care. I don't care. Like, and like all my exes and, and everything they're like, and you know, my now man, let's just put it this way. They're like, Oh my God, you've got more gray than me. And I'm older than you. Like, it's crazy. Cause I got for older guys and I'm like I know like seriously and I mean I don't go for two old guys I mean just fair warning like the oldest one that I've ever been with was like 10 years older than me so let's just put it that way I don't go for like grandfathers or anything like that I go for like five years like I try to stick to like five years like the, the man I'm with now which I've been with forever um yeah we've been you know he's five years older than me so you know He's 31, and he has, like, two strands of gray hair in, me, in his head, probably. And me, I have, like, a 1,000, and I'm 26. Like, he's known me since I was, like, 19. So, like, and he knew about my first gray hair, too. So he was, like, but he tells me every day that it's sexy. So it's, like, a boost, a confidence boost or whatever. But, um, but yeah, like, I mean, I think you should be comfortable with whatever you got. Like, if God's going to give you gray hair, God's just going to give it to you. You know what I mean? If God just wants you to have, like, straight super pin straight hair like me then rock it out you know what I mean like that's what I think you know and like this is me this is just my hair you know like it's gonna do whatever it wants to do you know like I can like split it down the middle like right here and you can't really tell I got a little bit here but like you go over here and you're like whoa like she's got gray hair but I got like sexy gray hair like I'm a sexy gray haired woman let's just put it this way everybody should be sexy when Right here, like you should be like, mm, duck face it, you know what I mean? Like, do like the little sexy little poses. I don't know, like, do what you gotta do, girl, because, like, or guy or whatever. Because it's hot to have, like, like it's a trend now that's gray hair. Like, I'm seriously thinking about, like, just doing my roots all gray and just to go through the trend. I'm just playing. Oh, and um, I want to talk a little bit about before I actually get off here and do my work let's just put it that way because i'm at work right now but i was gonna i was actually gonna talk to you guys about what you guys think about me ombre my hair and i know that that 
I said I wasn't going to dye my hair, but I was thinking just for the summertime, kind of going from like about where my necklace is down with ombre. Not much, you know what I mean? Like just like having it like, or maybe from like here down to ombre, 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 ombre. And then like when the winter time comes rolling around, I'll probably like just stick some pink in it or something. I don't really know. Like you guys tell me like what, if I would look good with ombre hair. Like I've, I've had like half blonde, half black. I've had blonde streaks. I've never had, um, and this is this is the truth. I've never, and I've had my whole hair like blonde before, but I've never had ombre in my like ombre. Like I've had blonde ends, but like not ombre blonde ends, if that makes sense. So I guess, um, yeah, you guys just kind of give me your opinion on opinion opinion on that because like I would so like want to know if like you guys think I would look good with it or if I should rock it out for the summer or what I really should do because I'm just like at I mean like I don't want to dye my hair but I kind of do want to do it but like if I do I'm gonna like bleep I'm gonna just do the ends part so that like everything else can grow back but like my hair is super super dark y'all so I would have to like do it like differently I don't know like I was thinking about doing it kind of like 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 this much ombre and then, like, go up to about right here and do ombre. You know, like, you know how I, I kind of learned how to do it, kind of. And um, one girl said to do it, like, start off and have, like, this much. And then work up and do, like, this much. And then work up and do, like, like this much. And then work up and do, like, the rest of it. But I don't want it to be, like, an orangey color because my hair is kind of dark on the bottom, you know. And so, like, I don't know, y'all, like. Um, I'll probably have to get like a toner, but like you guys can like tell me what the best products are like toner wise because I've never used a toner in my hair. I've always like bleached it completely blonde and it's looked really good on me. But you guys tell me like what's the best toners to get? What's the best bleach to get? Like I, I always get Manic Panic um, bleaching kit or I'll go get that splat bleach. But if there's a better bleaching kit out there and I mean like that you can get like at Sally's or like your local like you know, drugstore or somewhere like that, you know, let me know because I need to know something because I mean, I want to do something like different to my hair um, than what I'm normally used to. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, like, I don't know, like, what do you think? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I might just like, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way up to here where my chin's at or if I'm going to go to like where, where my shoulders is. You guys tell me that, too. Like, give me your opinion on that. Like, should I go all the way up to here, or should I just, like, kind of stop, like, right right here where my shoulders start, maybe? I, let me know something. I need to know. Like, I'm just so, like, wanting to ombre my hair, and the summertime's coming around, and it'd be so perfect to do, but I'm so scared to do it during the summertime because I probably will go to the pool. That's no joke. But also, like, tell me if that's stupid and that I should just keep my hair the way it is now. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that this was kind of fun video for you guys. I really, really want to know your opinion on the hair situation here um, with my ombre look. Um, if you want me to or not, and then if you do, then just kind of like post up a comment saying, hey, this is a really good product for me to have. Or, you know, don't use this product because it's like really drying. Because I want like a really good, you know, bleach and, you know, and I'm, I'm to like ruin my hair but I'm, I'm going to you know I'm, well not really going to but it's you know I want to do something with my hair I just don't know what I want to do I need a change but I'm not cutting my hair don't don't say cut my cut your hair because honey it took me way too long to get where it's at right now so I'm not going to that either so anyway please subscribe please comment give me your you know give me your input on it and I will see you next time bye